Hello and welcome to our children's liturgy for the fifth Sunday of Easter. Boris and I are playing a game, I don't know if you've ever played it, where you fill a basket or a bag full of lots of objects and then you put a blindfold on it and you have to guess what it is. So here's, what's this Boris? Oh, it's round and it's hard. That's right, it's a ball. Well done. Do you want to do another go? Go on then. What else have you got in here? There's lots of things. Oh, okay. How about this? This is not hard, is it? It's very soft and squidgy. Oh, and it's stretchy. Do you know what that is? That's right. Well done. It's a hair elastic. Well done, Boris. <laughs> so that is not using our sense of sight, because we blindfolded it, but using our sense of touch. Now we've got other senses. Do you know what other senses we've got? That's right, we've got a sense of taste. So, another game we like to play, isn't it, especially at family parties, is we like to mix all the crisps up and then you have to guess what the flavour is. Do you want to go that? Oh no, you want me to have a game? Okay. Well, it's very spicy. I think that one's pickled onion. Yeah, it's definitely pickled onion, a spicy one. So, we've got sight, touch, taste, what other senses? Smelling, brilliant. Okay, so, Boris likes to smell flowers. So he's gone through the garden and he's found his favourite flowers to smell. Very beautiful, I like to see them as well, very beautiful. Now, I like, Boris doesn't like this, <laughs> he doesn't like this, but I like this. This is perfume. I love the smell of perfume. Mmm, do you like perfume? What do you like to smell? What's a nice smell for you? Oh, what's a horrible smell? Oh, yes. <laughs> Maybe you have smelly feet. It won't talk about your feet, Boris. So, there's five senses. We've done sights. We've done taste, we've done touch, we've done smell. What's the fifth sense? Listening, brilliant, listening. We went for a walk yesterday and we listened, didn't we? We had a good listen to what we could hear on the walk and we made a recording so we could share it with you. What can you hear from our walk yesterday? Do you know what that is? That was the stream. We found the stream and it was there with a little bit of a waterfall coming down. So that was the stream. And there was also, can you hear? Can you hear the birds? Yeah, there were lots of birds. It was in the wood, the stream was in the wood and there were lots of birds singing. And if you listen very carefully, you might hear the duck quack quack because there was a duck near the stream, on the stream, quacking. So that's all the sounds that we heard on our walk yesterday. So maybe if you go for a walk, you might listen and see what you can hear. So those are five senses that help us discover this world, to learn about it, and help us to enjoy it as well. And do you remember we heard at the Gospel last week that Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it to the full. He wants us to discover about life. He wants us to enjoy this world. He wants us to live life to the full. And today's gospel, we're going to hear how that's possible because we're going to hear what Jesus says, that he is the way to live life, the truth and the life. And that to see him is to see the Father, the God who created us and loved us and cares for us. So are we ready to sing our gospel song? Nice, big, loud voice. Shout out those alleluias for Easter. Jesus' love is bubbling over. Jesus' love is bubbling over. Jesus' love is bubbling over. Alleluia. 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 And it's a reading from the gospel according to... John, glory to you, O Lord. Let your good news be in my thoughts, your good news be on my lips, 
your gospel, your good news in our hearts. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If this were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And when I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return and take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus says he is the way, the truth and the life. And what else do you remember from the gospel? I remember him saying, there are many rooms in my father's house. And I think that's important for me to hear that I don't compare myself to other people. Because some people might have better eyesight than I have or better hearing. Or people might be cleverer than I am. But we're all different. God's made us all different, all unique. There's many rooms. We're all part of God's family. There's a place in God's heart for each one of us. Many chambers in his heart, many rooms in his house. And we're not to compare ourselves to each other, but just to know that we are loved by God. And Jesus says, the more we know Jesus, the more we know God, the Father, the more we know God, the Holy Spirit. And how do we get to know Jesus better? How do we get to know God better? Or how do we get to know anyone better? We talk to them. We spend time with them. We listen to them. And so we've got this week for our prayer, because prayer is talking to God, it's talking to Jesus. So to help us pray this week, Boris and I have been making hands of praise that we raise up for God. So we, on each hand, we put see, smell, touch, taste, listen. And we've thought of one thing we thank God for. So I thank God for the beautiful flowers to look at. But I also thank him for my perfume. I thank him for beautiful water to drink. And I thank him for the sound of laughter. We had a lot of fun together. And I thank him for uh, my mum's got this jumper that's really soft. So I thank him for that. And in the centre of my hands, I've put how I want to grow, how I want to get to know God better. Um, and I want to be more faithful. So that's my hand of praise. And Boris, you sh show yours. Boris doesn't like drawing, so he's written, I uh, doesn't like writing, so he's drawn pictures instead. And so he has done, he likes butterflies. We've seen some really beautiful butterflies this week. He likes, we heard a bird singing on, a robin singing on a tree, so we thank God for that. He loves chocolate. Oh, he loves chocolate so much. And flowers, you know, he likes flowers. And he says for feeling, he likes the feeling of a hug. So he's done a picture of him being hugged. And then he wants to always be joyful. He wants God to help him to always be joyful and to be happy and to trust, because that's when we trust God that's when our joy grows and our faith grows. So why don't you make a hand of praise and raise that hand of praise at God every day this week, looking up and letting him love you and letting him show you that he's with us. So we're going to finish with a prayer. Let's raise our hands and we say, Dear Jesus, may we know you as our friend. May we know you as the way, the truth, and the life for us. Amen. We're going to finish with a song. And the song it says, trust, surrender, believe, receive. That God says, if you trust me, if you surrender, let me be God. Believe in me, then you'll receive all that life, all that love, 
all that joy, all that faith that he wants us to have, life to the full. Trust.